In this Android developers tutorial, we're going to be capturing a still image while recording a video. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. As I mentioned in the intro, during the record mode on the Android video application, we are going to be taking capturing images at the same time. So capturing a video, and during the time of capturing a video, we're going to be capturing stills from that video and saving that as a JPEG. Okay, this shouldn't take too long. A lot of the code that we used in the last previous two tutorials we're going to use, um, reuse for this. So hopefully I can keep this tutorial nice and short. Anyway, let's make a start. Okay, so first thing I need to do is to create a capture session and it's callback for the uh, record capture session. So let me just do a search here for the preview capture session here. And I'm just going to copy these these two members, the member and its callback. And again, it's just a matter of renaming it. So I'm going to change the preview to record. And do the same thing here as well. And that's all I had to do, is just change the name of the uh, record capture session and its callback. Okay, I now need to set this up and that happens in start record. So, in the on configures when we get given a configured session, so we can set up a member here. And then just call by a member here. I just need to add one other thing here as well. When we create the session, we're supporting the preview surface record service. We need another surface, which is going to be the surface to save our image to. So, and that's represented by image reader. So I'll do a call M image reader and get the surface. So now our um, our capture session. Uh, the record capture session will support three surfaces, including the uh, surface for actually saving images to. Okay, so that's start record done. I'm going to move into the lock focus now and set up the capture request. Here it is here. And what I've got here, if I've got this member here, is recording. So I have this M is recording state basically and it tells me I'm in the record state. So I'm in the record state I set up the specific capture request for recording or otherwise I set up for preview as is already set up. So we'll do the recording one now. Oh let me just finish the else as well. And I'll just copy this line, paste it here. And we're going to call our, uh, it's going to be record. So we're calling a record capture session and we need to call the record capture callback as well. Everything else should remain the same for that. Okay, so let's go into this capture callback. So one. Once we go into there, we're in state weight lock, and we check to see if we've got uh, autofocus lock, and then we can call still capture request. So let's go into still capture request. So on the first line here, you can see we set up our request builder based on the still on the template still capture, and that's what we call during the preview capture session. Um, we're going to have to use a different template while we're in the record session, so we'll set that up here now. And again, I'll use the is recording flag. 
and complete the house. And I copy this as well. But in this case, we're not going to call template still capture, we're going to call video snapshot. And this just this this just means that we're just going to capture a single frame from the video that we're recording, basically. Okay, so that's our record set up. So just one more place down on this line here, we're going to sort of do the capture on the record capture session. So again, we'll use our flags to check as recording. The house. and paste that line here. So again it's going to be record so it's going to be the record capture session we can use our request builder it would have been set up in this line here if it was either video snapshot during recording or if it's just a still capture and while we're in the preview capture session and um, we, we get and the callback here is just the callback here and the main thing here is to actually create the file our, um, our image file once we've got focus autofocus lock and so that's parts there Okay, so that should be all the changes I need to make to capture images while uh, doing a video recording. So let's try running this and see if that works. Okay, application's now started. Um, let me record that just to give you the context of what's going on here. Okay, so... We're just in preview mode. We want to go into record, record my computer. So we're recording. But now I want to take some images. So I'm just going to press take an image. That's one image, got autofocus lock. And take another one. And let's just take one of the keyboard. So I've taken three images there. Still recording. Let's stop recording. Okay, recording's now completed. Okay, so now let me go into my file explorer and already I've gone into the folder there I've got three images that was empty before and I'm just going to open up one and this should be the keyboard maybe it is and so all this was done while we were capturing a video I won't bother going into the video but we have captured a video as well so it's quite good multi-purpose now so we can capture an image while in the um, preview mode just using it as a simple camera or snapping off still images while we're recording as well okay so that concludes this tutorial so basically we did the heavy lifting in the last couple of tutorials with um, setting up the folder and the unique file names and the capture sessions and capture requests and all that so it didn't take too long to actually set up the still image capture while in the record capture session it was quite straightforward as you can see it didn't take me too long and so yeah that concludes this episode but the development of the Android 2 camera app video application is still going to be happening um, there's more tutorials coming on next week I won't dis disclose quite yet what they are but if you want to find out don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below and surrounding me is all my social media accounts as well. So every time I do something on the channel, whether or not it's uploading a bug fix, uploading source code to GitHub, publishing an article, a new video, the list just goes on and on. These get all notified into my social media accounts. So you can click on those now just to um, go straight to them if you're on a PC. And don't forget, directly above me is a link to my website. So, and especially for the articles that go into the website, not only do you get the video, you get the details of how you can pull down the code from GitHub, as well as descriptions of the code changes I make as well. So it's probably the best place to watch a video because you've got reference written material to help you along with watching the video. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now.